Hey guys, this is Andrew and today we're gonna make some potato gratin. This is my go-to starch dish, especially like in family gatherings or house parties or whatever it is because it just uh, goes well with anything like steak, roast chicken, uh, pastries again, I don't know, coffee, uh, I don't know. We have to cut the potatoes really nice and thin so that when we slice it later it has like those nice layers of potato and bechamel or slash um, or nay sauce. We have to start on uh, slicing the potatoes with a mandolin. So if you don't have this, use a really sharp knife and then just try to cut them into uniform pieces and as thin as possible. So let's get started. So I have some potatoes here. We just want to just want to peel them up, have a garbage bowl around. Also make sure to have a bowl of water around just so once we peel it, we just dump it in there so that it doesn't go brown really quick or oxidize. Dump it inside the water. Once you're done peeling your potatoes, get your mandolin and slice it very thin. Just keep running through it and adjusting until you get the right thickness. We want probably an eighth of an inch thick. Slice this all up and place it in a bowl and have a strainer ready so we can dry this up later before putting it all together. So let's start making our sauce, our bechamel. I got here uh, two tablespoons of butter and I have here two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Just want to mix that up. We're essentially making our roux here. So this will make the sauce nice and thick. We just want to combine this really nice. We just want to cook off the flour. Okay, this actually might need a little bit more flour. That's about half a tablespoon. So just cook this off for about one more minute. They have here two cups of cold milk. This is just whole milk. You just want to mix this gradually. What we want is a little bit of a thicker texture rather than a soupy one because once we bake it in the oven, we don't want it to be too watery. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg here. Dash of nutmeg, not, not a lot, just a sprinkle. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. So we see here that it's getting a little thick. We can add our cheese. Uh, the cheese I'm using is just quick melt, nothing too fancy here, but this will be nice and cheesy later. Just wanna mix this up. So this is essentially our cheese sauce. Now at this point, it's a little bit too thick. You can add a little bit more water. We just want it flowy, but not this extremely like thick, all right? So I'm just gonna add about a splash of milk. That's what we want, a little nice flowy texture, not too thick, but not too thin. Nice and cheesy. You can transfer this into a Pyrex so we can pour it easier later. All right, so for our gratin, I have here the potatoes already just, uh, straining. Got some cheddar cheese, which I have shredded. What we're gonna do is, we just want to layer this down first with some sauce. Doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to cover the bottom. Then we can layer our potatoes. We just want to cover the, the whole bottom up. Shake uh, the excess uh, liquid from the water. So we don't want a wet gratin. So since these potatoes are super thin, you can actually put two layers of potato first before adding the next layer of bechamel. Make sure to cover all the crevices and all the gaps. Just add your sauce again, thin layer. We don't want it too thick. A little bit of cheese. Nice like that. So every layer has that nice bite of everything. You know, that's what we want. We could put the potatoes again and just finish this up. Once you're done assembling your gratin, cover this up with foil and place a pan under it so it'll be easier to grab once it's cooked later. Bake this at the 170 degree oven for about one hour or until the potatoes are nice and tender. Remove the foil and set your oven to the highest setting and return the gratin uncovered to get some color on top. So our gratin is done. Uh, also, you have to make sure that it's kind of cool before you cut into it because all the juices will just flow out. I think it came out really well. There's a lot of layers. It's really cheesy. And most importantly, the potatoes are cooked. And I forgot to mention this a while ago, but you can use any potatoes, uh, whatever you have there in your area. You can even use marble potatoes. Don't, don't use marble potatoes. But if you want to see me make a marble potato gratin, make sure to press the like button down below. Actually, don't do not do that, but press the like button. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Got all those layers. Potato. You, you really can't go wrong with gratin. It's just it's the perfect side dish for any main you're gonna serve with your guests or family. It's really heavy, so you know, you don't really need a lot of it. 
it's really nice and cheesy nice and rich and you know uh, thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe to Tom Goods Media share this video to your friends make sure to leave a like down below comment down below what uh, you want to see me cook next till next time guys peace